Welcome back everyone to episode 3 of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED Grow Light. And today we're just talking about a few things in this video. Uh, first of all, the black plastic divider here. Uh, this is only a temporary thing. I am going to be using a material that's similar to the uh, grow tent material. And you know, I thought about using something like an emergency blanket for a mylar separator, but I don't really like the idea that you have mylar because it's a, kind of a mirror type of effect where you're getting get, you're going to get hot spots on the plant, so you get light reflection. That could be too intense, and it's not consistent. So, you know, I, why one side it might be reflecting some of the light past the seedlings, where on the other side it might be directing it directly towards them. It's really really difficult to try to make it even that way. So it's very important to use a material that would be similar to this, where it's diffused, so you get even light spread off the reflections. Um, second thing I want to talk about is the germination. The seeds that I used for this, uh, well, for both, um, came from the same, uh, the same cherry tomato, but it was from two years ago. And the seeds are very, very tiny. And I kept them in my fridge for two years in a plastic baggie, a sandwich bag. And I put 14 seeds in each rock wool cube. And on this side, I got 14 to germinate. And on this side, I have 12. Uh, there might be more or the, the other two in this one may still germinate, but it's obviously taking longer, and obviously I won't be using them when I call them out. Um, but I just wanted to say that it obviously has nothing to do with the grow lights, uh, but the germination rate with the heat mat, um, and the fact that the seeds were two years old and, and just stored in the refrigerator, uh, it's pretty good. You know, that's, I don't know, was it 90% germination rate? If you combine them together, or over 90%. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah, they're coming along pretty well. I'm not noticing any difference in the, you know, in the elongation of the seedlings or anything. They seem to be about the same height in both. I mean, I really can't tell the difference. So, you can tell that the lights are hung at different heights here. And that's the other thing I wanted to talk about, which is kind of the main um, part of this video that I said I was going to talk about last time in the last video. Uh, the reason why this one is hanging so much lower is because I'm using this resistance dimmer. It's a potentiometer, and this, I know it's just hanging here. It's just kind of temporarily set up this way. Um, I could not find a, a dimmer that worked with this light properly, and I've tried this. This is a uh, 0 to 10 volt dimmer. Didn't work. I also tried this. This is a pulse width modulation dimmer. That didn't work. And the, the, the manufacturer of this light says that you could use all three of these different things. And the only one that works, sort of, is this potentiometer. However, I have this set to full power. It's all the way up. And trust me, I've tried different combinations of the way they need to be wired. Watch what happens when I disconnect this wire here. If I just disconnect this for a moment, you'll see that that is a lot brighter and the camera is dimming it down, but it is really, really bright. So even though it's set at full power, it's not working for, uh, properly. And I've tried other potentiometers as well. So when I touch it back, you can kind of see how the camera readjusts momentarily. Get that back on there. So anyways, if anybody has anything to say about that, um, I would really like to know how to get this to work properly and to get to be able to dim this not dim it but be able to turn it all the way up so that I can get max output with the dimmer switch because I can still dim it down from here I can dim it down almost where it's almost off and it works fine that way but I can only get it to go to you know maybe 50% of total output and therein lies the problem. Now, even though I have these adjusted, I use my meter to make sure that it was the same for both. And you can obviously see that there's no elongation difference between these two. So obviously it's getting appropriate amount of light on both sides. Um, still, I, I want to be able to adjust it brighter to be able to, to make this more appropriate. And I, I'll probably try figuring it out on my own, but if someone has anything that they know about these things or these things or you know how this is wired in here I, maybe it's wired uh, wrong I don't know but I really would like to know if anyone has any uh, comments about that 
So everything so far is, uh, is working out well except for that. And the max bloom is set at 40 inches per ma uh, manufacturer recommendations and the, uh, it's dimmed to about 50% on the vegetation side. And the bloom side, which is the red LEDs in the center there, that's not on at all. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in episode four.